this really impromptu video. Um, it's Tuesday night when I'm filming this now. Tomorrow, obviously, when you're watching this, it'll be Wednesday. But I realised I didn't have a video for you guys for Wednesday, so I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to film in the space of like half an hour. Um, so I had a couple of ideas and I was like, oh, do I do this, do I do that? I wasn't sure. But this morning, I had quite a few hours free before I started college. So I thought I would do a little haul or go and get some stuff, which turned into quite a few things. Now you may have already seen my May haul, which I did last week, which was amazing. I then went and bought more stuff. Because I'm a bit of a shopaholic. Yeah. So I'm just going to go through what I bought, just for you guys to enjoy, because I know how much you guys like that. Um, so, I'm going to start with clothes, because they're a bit boring. Um, but first thing, I went into Primark. Now, I don't go into Primark very often, but I was watching Bella Rose on here on YouTube, and she does, like, a Primark thing a month, like, one a month. It's insane. I thought how nice some stuff of Primark is. Now, I went to the, I saw this on a rack, on a... Okay, on a sales rack, and this is a blue midi skirt. It's a bodycon, um, and it's got like this textured embossed kind of look. It was five pounds, reduced from ten, so it's not bad. And it's a size eight. I tried on size ten, twelve. It was humongous, so I had to try on size eight. It fits me like a glove. Who knew? It's great. Um. I've not been a size 8 since I was like 10 years old. I'm 16, 17. Yeah. Um, it's a really nice like bright blue colour. Really nice for the summer. I might wear it in a couple of days time. See how many like stuff comments I get. Um, yeah. I bought that. Also in Primark I bought this. Um, and it's a top which has like gingham with roses, it's blue and it has the word amour on the front which is French for love. Um, it has grey sleeves and a grey back. The front is quite sheer. Um, I've seen quite a few of these around, I don't know who really like started them or brand but I've seen, I've seen them in like Zara. Uh, new look, and I was tempted to buy one new look, but I didn't. I saw this, and this was six pounds, and I quite liked it, so I bought one. And I thought it was just such a casual kind of top; it's great, um, and I really like it. Much better than all the twenty to forty thousand pound tops you get. Maybe not forty thousand, but yeah, you know what I mean. Also in Primark, my last thing. Um, was this top. Now, this is a man's top. This is my first man's top I've bought, or men's top. And it's this one, and it's Captain America's um, symbol on the pocket. It's just a plain, like, dark grey, soft um, t shirt. It's a small, which is still quite long for me, but I'm not bothered. Um, it was £6, and I'm obsessed with all things Marvel and X Men. Well, they are Marvel. Um, so yeah, Marvel and me. Marvel and me. Oh, it's like Marley and me, the film. That's a sad film. Um, Marvel and I, we get along. I really like this. Me and my friend, um, we're obsessed. Absolutely obsessed with Marvel and Captain America and the Avengers. So I thought this was only right to go and buy. Okay, next I went into New Look. Um, I thought I would use their like 25% off card, but I was a day out, I was gutted. Um, but that didn't really stop me, I still bought some stuff. I bought two tops. I got a bit top crazy because I feel I don't have nice, I don't have enough tops. I've been wearing tops too, many, too often. And I can't seem to find anything that I like. So I just had to like run out. Did anyone else get that? I don't know. But I bought this one. And it's a colour block top. It's um, white on the top with a um, thick collar 
um, like longer than normal sleeves, short sleeves, like middle forearm sleeves, I don't know, middle half sleeves, uh, whatever. They're short sleeved but long short sleeves, um, with like a thick band at the end. Same on the other side. And then the majority of the top is like a lilac-y, pastel-y blue, which I really like. Um, it's quite sheer, so if you want, if you wear like extravagant, fancy, bright bras, I would wear a top underneath. Um, if you don't, you probably won't need to. Um, but again, you should just go really nice with a skirt or, or a pair of jeans or leggings, whatever. Um, how much is this? And this was £10. Okay, so the last clothing item, which is probably more summery than any of the other tops I have, it's this one. If I get the label out of the way. Um, and it's like a netting top, um, sleeve? Is it a sleeve? I don't know. Shoulder strap and um, like shoulder back, uh, a little bit on the front and then it's got this um, like a crochet pattern on the front, it's like a creamy crochet and then it goes down to a funny sort of material, it's a synthetic material, um, what is it? Let's have a look. Well, just, I think it's just the polyester, it's just a very thick kind of funny polyester um, but it just looks like this, it's really nice, I thought it was really summery you may not be able to see the difference but I really like it um, it looks like quite a short top but it's not, I was a bit worried because I don't do like crop tops or anything nothing that shows my stomach, I'm not a fan of my stomach so um, when I put this on when I got home I, it covers quite a lot actually, it's quite a long top so I'm quite happy with it. And it was uh, £15. Then I went into Superdrug and I bought some cotton pads because I need to for my nail varnish. Um, I bought a hot cloth cleanser. It's the Vitamin E Skincare Superdrug. It's own range. Now I'm really dry, um, bleh. I'm really late to the trend on this one. Um, it comes with a muslin cloth, rich in natural vitamin E, high in antioxidants, prevents or defends the skin from environmental damage. It's for normal to dry skin. Now, I have combat oily skin, but I really, really wanted to try this out. I'm not even sure what you do with it, so, but I really wanted to try it out. So you get a mother, mother cloth, you get a muslin cloth with it, which smells really good for some reason, and then you get the thing, the um, cream, cleanser cream. Okay, so you put this on first and then you wipe it off with this. Fair enough. I'm quite excited for this. Um, Miss Budget Beauty uses it and she kind of really likes it so I thought I would give it a go. Um, and it's on offer at the minute. I think it's about £4, £3, £4. So that's why I gave it a go. I wouldn't have given it a go otherwise. And I didn't really see it. Um, Apart from this time. So I'm quite excited to use that. I may kind of do a demo. I've not done many demos before so um, this may be my first one. And then the last few things are L'Oreal products. Um, firstly I bought this up. I uh, picked this up which is the L'Oreal Colorish in Addictive Plum. Now I bought it because it's a really nice, like, rich, plummy kind of colour, but still a little bit pink. Because I'm going to a wedding at the weekend, which you may already know because I've said so many times. I'm really excited, but I'm really nervous. Um, because I'm meeting my boyfriend's friends for the first time and family. So that's a bit scary. But I wanted to have a really nice nail polish that matched the shoes I'm going to be wearing. Um, 
and I'll talk about it more in another video when it all comes out next week. Um, but this is the only colour I've seen that matches my shoes perfectly. So I was quite happy with that. And then L'Oreal were doing a 3 for 2 in Superdrug, so I thought, oh, okay, I'll just give it a couple of their products a go. And I'm really late to the bandwagon on these, because I picked up the L'Oreal True Match Foundation, which I already have one, but it's completely wrong colour for me. So I picked up this one, and this is in N1 Ivory. I didn't, I tried it out on my wrist, and it seemed alright, it's... It's still, oh my gosh, it's still on my wrist, that's, that's insane. I'm really worried it's going to be too light. But I'm going to give it a go um, and kind of show you guys. I'm quite excited for this. And then to set it, I went for the True Match um, setting powder, but they didn't have one in the colour I wanted, so I bought the Lumia, uh, Lumiel, no, L'Oreal Nude Magic uh, BB Powder in light um because this was the only other one. Oh, it says velvet skin beautifier i can't open it oh gosh it looks like this oh it even has a sponge oh and a mirror i love i love things like that so it looks like this it's just the plain like powder it's meant to mimic your natural velvet skin and then underneath you have a mirror and you have a, like a sponge applicator which no one ever uses. Um, but yeah, so that's all go on top of that. So I will show you guys how that works out in the next couple of videos I think. Um, because I'm really excited to use these, I've never used them before. Apart from the True Match I've used which I've really liked but it was the wrong colour. So I'm going to try this one out, I'm really worried it's the wrong shape. But um, yeah, so I have those. Okay, so that is everything for my haul. Um, really impromptu. I promise I will get some proper videos up for the next uh, couple of weeks. Proper. I've got them all written down, I promise. I've written a whole schedule. But um, I've been crazy busy with college at the minute. Next week, or the end of this week, I go on study leave. So I don't. it means I don't have to go in for, less, for any lessons apart from my exams. So it means I have lots of free time on my hands. Plus studying, of course. But... Um, Lots of time to just do the odd 50 minute video, uh, uh, edit and upload. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!